It is day 16 on the cruise. We are currently on our way to Penang. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do the conclusion video for day 15. I was so tired and um, it was also, um, yeah, I was just really tired. Um, that, yeah, I was burned out. So um, what happened last night was that after dinner, we went to go see a show, but um, before. Um, dinner was pretty good, actually. Like, um, uh, pad thai. I ordered a pad thai, as you can see. Um, my dad ordered a steak, and my aunt ordered a chicken biryani, and my mom also ordered the teriyaki salmon. And it was pretty good. Like, I have to give hands down to Royal Caribbean for including for improving their cuisine over the um, past five years that I haven't been on Royal Caribbean. So kudos to them. The dessert was also very tasty. Could have used a little more passion fruit though, but other than that, pretty good. So the show was basically like this, um, uh, like this dance thing. Like I've seen this like in other cruises. So um, it was it was pretty decent. I and and. I don't really have any comments about it. I mean, we just went to go see the show because, you know, why not? I mean, it's, this is a cruise ship. Just lots of stuff to do. So, yeah. And then after that, we went back to our room and I uh, just crashed. So, yeah. Today, I'll be heading to Penang. We're just going to be walking around. And then um, I'm hoping to do some of the cruise ship activities I wanted to do yesterday. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey everyone, it's the Boat Arc speaking to you from nine months into the future. So for this vlog, I decided to experiment a little with doing a voiceover instead of my usual captioning just to make my vlogs a little more interesting. Um, uh, so as you can see from this clip, we are arriving in Penang um, and the sun was um, coming up. Um, the sunrise was really beautiful on the way to the port of Georgetown and the weather during the morning was initially good during the beginning of the tour. Um, you'll soon know why later. So our first destination in Penang is the Penang Bridge in Georgetown which connects the island to the mainland. I did take a picture of the bridge which you can sort of see off into the distance. We didn't really spend much time there as we took some pictures and went quickly to our next destination, which is the Penang Botanical Gardens. As you can see, the clear sunny weather that was in Penang earlier is replaced with a sudden downpour in this video. Well, that's because on the way to Penang Botanical Gardens, clouds began forming and by the time we got to our destination, a sudden thunderstorm formed right on top of the entire tour group. and. We had to take shelter and wait out the storm before we could proceed with the tour. There it is. When the rain calmed down a bit, we were able to proceed with the tour around the Botanical Gardens, which looked pretty beautiful, especially after the rain came down. There were so many different plants and flowers everywhere that I couldn't even get all of them on video or photo. While we were walking around, we also spotted some monkeys at the Botanical Gardens playing around with each other, just relaxing in the damp grass. It was just really cute seeing monkeys everywhere again, just like in Kuala Lumpur. Our next destination of the itinerary is a batik factory. So, fun fact, batik is an Indonesian technique used to apply wax resistant dyes to a piece of cloth. We were given a tour of the factory and saw some workers already working on a few designs, while one of the guides in the factory explained how batik is made. It was a bit hard to hear what she was saying though because the rain was coming down hard as soon as we got to the factory. Afterwards, we walked around the factory's showroom to take a look at the, some of the fabrics with the designs on them. Finally, our last destination of the tour is the Intopia Butterfly Farm. It was still raining so there weren't many butterflies active and I did get scared by one as you can see in this next clip. Oh, oh, oh my god! It was flying towards me! We did see some butterflies in a section of the farm where caterpillars are in the process of transforming into butterflies, but it seemed like the actual butterflies were taking shelter in the rain. There were other exhibits not containing butterflies, but many different insects and animals that I've never seen in person before, such as tarantulas, centipedes, basically stuff I've seen online or in those animal books I read as a little kid. 
There was even an exhibit that talks about the science of butterflies, which I thought was pretty cool too. After the day trip with the tour group, we decided to walk around Georgetown just to do a little shopping and eating something. Um, we eventually went to this little eatery in town and had some food. This is Penang style laksa. Never had it before, wow. It's kind of been a couple days since I have did the um, uh, taste test, but um, uh, let's see how this, um, Malay this um, Penang laksa is. That Whoa. I've, that is unlike anything I've had in terms of laksa. It is like, I think the broth is like sour, there's some spice in it. I think that is, that is really good laksa. This is crazy. This here is char gui teo, which is like, I think a um, jiu-teo specialty. Yeah, I think I've had it before. I don't know, I don't remember, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, trying some chocolate gel. Wow. I can taste, it's got like, it's really, it's a little bit salty, not as salty, but it's kind of like, it's a little bit reminiscent of like Pad Thai and Tao Hall if it was mixed together. And like that egg is really like, the egg also makes a difference. It's it's really savory. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just really good. Mm. Yeah, essentially high tau hall fun. By the time we got back to the ship, it was getting dark and we were all feeling hungry despite us getting some food in Georgetown. For some reason, we still had room in our stomachs for dinner, which you'll see shortly. The course has arrived. I got the... Um, uh, the uh, fish. Ma'am, sir, please enjoy. Pretty much. Thank you. Later on, so if you want something more, just let me know. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Pretty much no everyone got like, well, except for my enjoy. uncle got like Thank steak, you. steak and my other uncle who also got steak. A lot of everyone pretty much ordered seafood for tonight. <laughs> I was unable to get a video of the dessert served after the main course, but I was able to get some pictures. Um, dessert was a baked Alaska, banana pudding, and a chocolate cake. After dinner, we went to go check out a magic show by magician Zilwin Chu, and I gotta say some of the acts he performed were really amazing and mind-blowing. I had no idea how this guy managed to do these tricks. In this deck of playing cards, that should be one card turn a different direction. Do you understand? I'll show you. Watch closely. Now, if you notice, all the cards will be facing you in one direction, except for one card, hopefully. Let's see where it is. Oh, I saw one card here. Now, look, can you see? There's one card with its red back facing you. What was your card again? Seven of Hearts. No way! The seven of hearts! Oh. Come on! Hey! Come on back! Bottle and a miracle in front of your eyes. Watch. Come on. back in the cabin after a long day in Penang. Penang was um, crazy. It was raining a lot. The thunder was so like it wasn't scary surprisingly. Like I feel like Penang was where I was able to get over my fear of thunderstorms. Like yeah for some of you who don't know I do have this condition called astrophobia which is like a fear of thunderstorms 
and I guess also has to do with my like Asperger syndrome which makes me sensitive to like loud noises um I I, I like I don't know like it's yeah it, I I I that I, I, I just that's just what I think I, okay I'm not really an expert in this subject that I, I just like Oh, okay, I'm getting off topic, but yeah. So, um, it was just a pretty crazy day. Um, uh, but then it got a little better afterwards when I, we visited the butterfly farm. Like, I thought the butterfly farm was pretty cool. Like, I got to see a bunch of, like, different, like, species of, like, butterflies, obviously. And some other insects. It was just so... Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty cool. So yeah then um we just went to um uh, have some local food in penang uh where i had some uh unique laksa and um uh some takoi tiao I, I i forgot yeah but yeah and then so um afterwards we had some dinner on the cruise ship and um went to go watch a pretty sweet magic show so um yeah uh Tomorrow's the last day on the cruise. It's gonna be formal night, so I'm gonna be um, wearing a nice uh, dress shirt and stuff. Not too fancy. Um, I'm also gonna be doing some. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some activities on the cruise ship that I'm really excited to show you guys. So I'm gonna head off to sleep right now. It's um pretty late, so I'll see you guys. It is currently day 17, um, we just got up and we're gonna go get some breakfast at the dining room, so today is an entire day at sea, and, um, I just figured it'll be a good opportunity to get a little physically active today, I'm gonna do some rock climbing, hopefully some flow rider, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to see where this goes. Hey everyone, here I am back with the voiceover. So after breakfast, I immediately head over to Flowrider, which is sort of a surfing slash boogie board simulator activity that Royal Caribbean has on some of their ships. At first, I thought it was going to be easy, but I was so wrong and basically ate it when attempting to surf. So yeah, I think surfing's probably not my thing. So I tried boogie boarding, which was a little easier, but... I also ate it a bit there too, but not as badly as surfing. I did attempt to do stand-up surfing later off camera, but again, I ate it and hurt my neck a little, so... I decided that that was enough flowrider for the day and went to try some other activities on the ship after I rested in my cabin. After finishing up the activities, my family and I got ready for dinner. It was a formal night so I dressed up a little bit just to look nice. Dinner was really fantastic. I got a Mediterranean steak while some of my family members got steak or salmon. We even ordered a curry dish with rice just to try it out. Dessert was also really delicious too. Some of us got a peach trifle, a vegan chocolate tart, or a crema catalona, which I believe is a Spanish creme brulee. The waiters on the ship even did a little goodbye dance for us too. Shout out to the waiter that served us on the cruise the entire time. He was a really nice guy and I really appreciate him giving us such wonderful dining service while we were on the ship. The events didn't stop after dinner either. In fact, the activities crew threw the passengers a little farewell party with the fireworks countdown. Although the fireworks were on the projection screen.
Personally, I thought it was a creative way to end a four-day cruise on the spectrum of the seas, and I enjoyed what the ship has to offer. I highly recommend taking this cruise if you're looking to spend some time in Southeast Asia. Good morning everyone, it is day 18. Time to go home. Uh, yeah, I think I forgot to um, uh, do the conclusion video last night because I was so tired from the little party the cruise ship crew was putting up. Um, yeah, it was all right. So dinner was also pretty good for a last meal on the cruise. So right now we are getting packed up and getting ready to disembark so we can go to the airport. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys later. All right, well, today is the day that I finally come home from such an amazing trip to Southeast Asia. After breakfast, we finally disembarked a ship, although it took us a little while because my family got somewhat separated. We finally make it to the airport, boarding our first flight back to Taiwan. So, during my first video, I didn't really show which airline I flew to Taiwan, but now all of you are going to see for yourselves. This is Starlux, a new airline spearheaded by the son of the founder of EVA. It is a relatively new airline, and this plane has a lot of surprises for everyone. Starlux even gets a little creative with theming their flights, and today's flight, they were going for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The seats were also super comfortable, super roomy, and overall relaxing enough for a very long flight. Currently, Starlux uses Airbus models for their fleet. Today, the plane we are flying is an Airbus A350-900, flight number JX732, which they use commonly for long-haul flights. Our flight will be a short haul flight taking 4 hours and 15 minutes. When we reach Taoyuan International Airport, we'll be having a 3 hour layover in Taiwan before our final flight. Our plane takes off shortly and meal service begins once we were at cruising altitude. For lunch I got the prawn masala with ghee pulao, served with some fruit, a pasta salad, and a dessert, which I review here. Food has arrived. <laughs> My dad's food came with Spider-Man theming. Wow. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, ooh, that looks really good. Alright, I have it on the fork now. Bon appetit. Oh, that shrimp is like, it's got some spice to it. That masala sauce. Also really spicy. Goes well with the basmati rice. Uh, I don't. I think this is the ghee pilau that I have here. The your cabbage thing. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. It's not really anything special, but it's alright. I mean, overall, this stuff is not too bad, though. All right, my pasta salads here. Yeah. That is a really refreshing salad. That's for sure. Really tasty. Alright, so we have the dessert here. This is like some kind of mango pudding thing. Let's give it a try. Mm. Sweet, it's gelatinous. Yeah, I, yeah, there's like some mango flavoring in it. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but that's a really good dessert. I, I like it. My dad did get the second option, which was the roasted honey garlic chicken thigh with mashed potato. I also had a taste of that too. Surprisingly, I liked it a little more than the prawn masala with ghee palau. The chicken was really juicy and had a great taste to it, and the potatoes were buttery and soft. Either way though, Starlux's economy meals are better than any economy meal I've ever had. After the meal, I didn't really do much except watch a movie, for example, Super Mario Bros, or took a small nap. Okay, so I am currently at Taoyuan Airport um, after the flight. We are now waiting for our um, uh, second flight back to LA and um, we're just hanging around the airport since um, we've got three hours to kill, so. Yep, three more hours until I go home. Or technically it's like 12 hours, but yeah, yeah you, you get what I'm saying. All right, it is time to fly back home. We are flying on Starlux once again. This plane is the same model as the one I flew in from Singapore an Airbus A350-900, flight number JX002. This flight will be a 12 hour and 25 minute flight all the way from Taiwan back to Los Angeles. Since this is the same plane model, I'll be skipping ahead to the food. The food was super delicious. This meal is a collaboration between Starlux and Hutong, which is a known restaurant in Taiwan. 
Right here, I have a hutong barbecue pork belly rice bowl served with a salad, some fruits, and some crackers. Here's my review. I'm gonna eat a little bit of salad first. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's a pretty good salad. Nothing really much to it. So I think my opinion could use a little bit of dressing, that's for sure. Now on to the main course, the pork belly bowl, which I've been waiting for a while to try on this flight. Later on, we were given our final meal, which is a pork, taro, and mushroom kanji served with a pickled tofu skin and seaweed salad, fruit, and yogurt. Alright, I got a, um, I think the tofu skin mushroom salad here. Let's get a try. It's cold. I do like that bean curd. It's really good. Refreshing as well. Alright, now we are going to try this porridge. So, I'm trying to scoop some into my spoon here. I got some right over here. Bon appetit. Ooh, that was a really chunky porridge. Like, with all that pork bits, it's all really complimented. It really tastes good. Oh, yeah, so fine. We soon arrived back home to LA around 9pm and I was absolutely tired, not to mention I was also beginning my very last semester of college the next day, so I had to go to sleep early. But I was so glad to be finally home sweet home after 18 days on an amazing trip. While I do still miss Taiwan, Singapore, and Malaysia, I certainly miss my comfy bed at home. Hey everyone, it has been a couple hours um, and I am back home wow what a incredible 18 days it has been on this vacation um and this is my first time doing a vlog where i'm you guys follow along with me and what i am doing it was amazing um, i would never imagine that in five years that i would um uh, go on this type of trip again it was yeah it was just so um, crazy uh definitely taipei was one of my favorite destinations i don't know i just just the city like i just felt i just vibed with the city that's that's like i like what i liked about taipei just the energy the people the food it was amazing um i also did like singapore singapore was pretty cool as well um, i did like you know all the buildings and stuff, it was, it was pretty great. So yeah, those were some of my memorable moments of the trip. So yeah, I'm a little tired now and I wanna get some rest. So this is Bodark and Justin signing off. You guys have a good night.